Hello, 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 friends. Welcome to my live show. My name is Khan. I'm so grateful that you are still here today for awakening. One of our day 29. Welcome to the show. I'm so grateful that you are always here for yourself as you awaken, as you transform, as you become the better version of yourself, as you watch this daily transformation. It's all about you. It's all about you taking care of yourself, taking responsibility of your own self by awakening. No one is going to awaken you. It's only you can awaken yourself because this life is not a rehearsal. It's meant for you to live with so much peace. That's why we are touching all areas of your life. We are touching you. We have touched your health and wellness right now. We have touched your career and career and money. We have, we have touched your the creative expression, we have type your relationships and love. So we are touching each and every area of your life because all these four areas of your life are very, very important in your life. You need to take care of all these areas for you to be aligned, for you to be happy and enjoy life. All right, by the way, my name is Khan. Welcome to the show. Please keep on watching me on YouTube and please subscribe. Those of you who are watching, I'm so happy that you are there. And I'm happy that you have subscribed. All right. Today on our day 29 is all about healing. Healing the inmate wisdom within. Healing. We have bodies that are able to heal themselves. And we can do that by doing certain things to prevent ourselves even to have illnesses. So the body can create so many good things. Okay, I want you to create a culture that will support you, that will even teach your kids to take care of their health so that they can help, they can have a healthy life and a healthy body. Because you take care of yourself. This all this is saying that is saying prevention is better than cure. This is very true. You can prevent so many illness before they can attack you. So there are, nine, there are nine healing factors that you can use, to, you can apply to your life that can help you not to have disease in your life. The first one is change your diet. What we eat can it then make us more healthy or they can make us to be ill. That's a fact, that's a truth. The more you eat unprocessed food, the more you become more healthy. The more you eat junk food and so much processed food, you will get a certain illness. Whether you believe it or not, that's the truth. So change your health, change your diet so as you heal yourself. So many people who have a special physical disease that are recommended a certain diets. Hence, dietitians are doing an amazing job. So I'd like to say, at least start now. Start eating well now, eating unprocessed food now when we are still healthy. Because I believe that all this food, they were made for us to heal us in some way. That's why there's so many nutrients in them. They are meant to protect us from Ill illnesses. That's how we call the vitamins or the protective, uh, the protective food. This, uh, this minerals, this oranges. Because they are there to protect us and they are there to also heal us. So as you are healing yourself, change your diet. And the second factor is take control of your health. No one is going to take care of your health. That's the truth. I was telling my son at that time that no one is going to take care of your health. Whatever that you do to, to, to compromise your health, it will come back only to you. So take responsibility of your health in so many angles. And also follow your instincts. Because God has given us these instincts to help us to prevent certain things, to prevent ourselves from certain things. So learn to use your inner wisdom, which is your instinct or intuition. It can give you so much peace and so much healing, and it can prevent you from so much um, illnesses. And then the the first, the first, the fourth thing 
is use herbs or supplements. There's so many herbs out there that are only meant to heal us. The natural way, doing natural can prevent you so many illness. So go out there, research about, about herbs and supplements that can help you, that can heal you. And then the fifth step is release suppressed emotion. That's where I'm coming from. To me, to release suppressed emotions, then then healed traumas, the unhealed past pains. It's time for you to process that, get help and get healing, so you can get all the need, the help that you need out there. And then increase your positive emotions. Always be happy. There are days when life seems to be hard, but choose to be happy and accept things as they are because any times in life, there are certain things that you can't change, but learning just to be happy, it's part of the challenge, it's okay. Those of you can sing, sing in the midst of the problems, you can change your emotions and give a different energy within your, your body. And then the eight, the eight steps is deepen your spiritual connection, have a relationship with God, seek for divine help, you will become so wise as you do that. You will get so healing. There are certain things that you believe that only God can help you with. And even if you don't get help, at least you have offloaded your burdens to God. If he will, if he will help you, it's okay. If he doesn't, it's still okay. At least you have, you, have, you have opened your heart to someone. And then the ninth thing is have strong reasons for living. Your why should be so strong. That's why I'm here to say, be aligned with your life purpose, your talents, your passions, because when you're aligned with that, you will live, you, your why will be so strong. You have the reasons to survive. So I want you to remember that nature is the best doctor out there. Nature is the best doctor. I have an aunt, she doesn't stay in towns, she only stays in countries, countryside. She doesn't get, I have never seen her getting ill. I've never seen her. She doesn't eat her as She doesn't eat a lot of this processed food. She's so healthy. She doesn't even age. So there's so much wisdom in, in nature. So where possible, stay as much as you can in nature. You'll get so much healing and so much wisdom. So when you align your body, your mind, and spirit together, you will become so much happy. Some people, we are only working on the spirit. And the mind, then you forget the body, forget to take care of our bodies. But our bodies and the mind and the spirit are one and the same thing. So keep on doing and working on these things together. You'll become a very, very healthy and a happy person. So as you align with the natural laws, you become a happy person. So there are other modalities that you can use to make sure that you live a healthy life by preventing this illness. The other steps, I have got other nine steps, we call them the New Start Principle, which N stands for nutrition. Check your diet as well, eat well, eat unprocessed food. And then this E, exercise. There are so many exercises out there. Some, they work in the farms, it's okay. Walk, take a walk. Do whatever that you feel that can work for you to exercise each and every day. And then the third thing is water. Drink as much as water as you can because 72% uh, of our body is water. As you dehydrate, your water needs to be hydrated as well. All right? And then you can either swim in the seas. That's when there's so much beauty in the, in the, in the seas, in, in, in swimming in the natural um waters and then sunlight during covid we have learned a lot about the importance of using sunlight which is vitamin d so you can also go out there and have this energy that is easy for anything for everything everything needs any sunlight you also need sunlight to survive there's vitamin d out there for you temperament taking care of yourself check the emotions uh, work on emotions also um, stay away from alcohol and drugs that can make you to be unstable that can cause even more illness okay because it can 
increase your heart rate and your heart your blood pressure. And then the other thing is a na is air. Please, there's plenty of air out there. There are more trees out there for you to survive. Use this plenty of air out there. Then they're gonna open the windows. Have divine air for you. Where possible, go outside when it's safe before the sun rises and enjoy the breeze. It's so amazing when everybody is sleeping. It's so quiet. And, the, and, and, and it's, it's so amazing. As you watch the sun rising and you, you smell this beautiful uh, breath, this breeze. And then the uh, other things rest. Give your body time to rest. Give it a break to just take a break. In a, in a week, give a, have a day that you're going to rest, that you're going to do nothing and only concentrate on just being, enjoying being you. All right, and then the third, the last thing is trust in God. Trust that there's God who is there for you, who is within you, who is always there for, for, for your needs. As with your body. All right, and then as we are working on these 40 days, prevent yourself from contracting disease as much as you can by doing all the steps that I've been sharing with you. Okay, and then I want you to practice to relax and rejuvenate. Just relax, take it, take, take, you know, I just had a meeting with myself at that time on Friday. I was, I'm always busy with uh, my career and money. I don't have time to look at my passions, my creative expression. I have so many passions. I like cooking. I like gardening. I like just singing. And I, I think it's time for me to also incorporate that in my life. So you too, what do you like the most? Not all of our passions will have returns or they'll bring money back. But we like that. Those are our passions. We have to embrace them. We have to grow them. Because the more you grow them, the more you become aligned the more you become happy. You'll have money, you'll be happy with your gardening, you'll be happy with your cooking, with your singing, whatever that you are passionate about. You'll be happy and you'll live a fulfilled life. All right. So I want to, as a homework, to, to ask yourself where and how can you lower your stress level? How can you lower your stress level? Whatever that it takes. As for me, when I, when I feel that I'm too prejudiced, I take a walk. It helps me to reduce all the stress during, the, during my walks. I'll take, I'll do, every time I talk to myself alone, and I'll have some prayer and meditate and make decisions when I'm walking. So it's an amazing thing. I'll just check my trees. So I, I, I make sure that each and every morning in the moon I meditate so I can reduce my stress level during the day. So as you're working on these 40 days, remember that you can prevent so many illness that are out there. By just living a healthy and simple life. Okay. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperament, air, rest, and trust in God can help you, can heal you in the process. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.